Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. In today's video, I thought that we would just sit back and chill and chat. And so what I'm going to call this video is something like um, pajamas, wine, and William Sonoma inspiration or something like that. Because guys, when I got home today, and by the way, it's Friday, January the 3rd. I went to the mailbox and I had my William Sonoma um, spring catalog in the mail. And so what I love to do when I get this catalog is with well, this one and my ballot design, I just really like to. I come in here in my office, I'm either sitting at my desk or I'm sprawled out here and I'm just flipping through the pages because they literally give me so much inspiration and it also lets me know what the trends is. So what I typically will do is I'll come home um, and this week I, I needed this. I needed it because although I was only at work two days this week, it felt like I had been um, at work all week and I worked maybe like 13 hours straight. That's what it felt like. So I come home, I'll take me a nice shower and um, put my lotion on. And right now I am loving, what is it, the Calypso from Bath and Body Works. I put that on and I put on my pajamas. And so um, before I left this morning, um, well last night I wash my pajamas again these are like my favorite pajamas guys they feel so good these are the ones from Victoria's Secret put them in the washer so when I woke up this morning I put these in the dryer and so I put these on because I knew I wasn't going anywhere after work well, I did make a stop you guys probably already saw that if you saw my Instagram mm-hmm so um and I came, I was coming home, but then when I went to the mailbox and I saw what I had, I was like, oh, it's going to be one of those nights. And it is rain and cold outside. So, yes, it is one of those nights. And I thought, why not have your friends over and let them see how you, like, really spaz out and chill. And when I'm, like, up here, that to be brought down here, this is, like, what I do. I come in here, Mr. B is, like... You just get, really get lost in your space, and I do. I'm either in here and I'm editing, or I'm watching my YouTube on my television that I picked up Black Friday. Yes, she did. So I have that in here, and I am just really chilling. I will sit up here sometime with my blanket, prop my legs up, and I will fall asleep right here this is so freaking comfortable and i'll just fall asleep in here especially like on the weekends so mr b has to come and get me so we are going to um just really you know we're about to have just like a really chill time so i have my pajamas on i am drinking the last bit of this winking owl sweet red that i picked up from aldi's this is so freaking good. It's not like um, sweet, sweet like a Moscato. It has like a little bit of a sweet undertone. This is really good. Mm. Yes, really good. So I put it in the fr um, refrigerator for about... 30 minutes so it'll get a little chill on it because you know red you don't drink cold white you drink cold red it has like a little slight chill on it this is so mm. Mm. it's so good you know you're supposed to swirl it so that it can aerate now when I was pouring this when you saw the beginning of the video if I had an aerator yes but you know, you just swirl it around like this. If you go to like a wine tasting, they'll show you how to swirl it around. And then you're supposed to, you're supposed to whiff it in so you can get the aroma of the, the, the wine. And you're supposed to put your entire nose into the glass. Isn't that something? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
and let it roll around your mouth. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's good. So if you're at Aldi's and you see this, get it. You're going to like it. Also, I have my lip gloss here. Because, you know, I always have to have some lip gloss on me. Or some chapstick or some lip gloss. This is chapstick. And this one tastes really, really good. So, I wanted to talk about this catalog right here. And this is my William Sonoma home catalog, guys. I love me some William Sonoma. Now, sometimes William Sonoma, a lot of times it can be very, very pricey. Not sometimes, but a lot of times. But, if you go to the back of the store, and especially like right now, their clearance department is like off the chain. So freaking good. So the closest William Sonoma to me is near my job actually. And so I can sometimes I will like go through there maybe during lunch or something just to kind of see what they have. But I love like their foods and of course I love their entertaining pieces and I love the clearance section. I really, really love the clearance section so if you're in Pont City Market that's the closest one to me if you're here in Atlanta William Sonoma is in Pont City Market and I love it but anyway I get the William Sonoma home um, catalog this is a spring um, 2020 edition and it says fresh design and y'all know I also get ballot design now this is the this was the fall yeah, it just came in October um, I thought I got one for December. Hmm. But, um, yes. But I get ballot designs too. These two are like two of the most, these are like really good for inspiration and to have. So what I want to do is I'm um, going to kind of take you through this um, catalog so you can kind of see what they have to offer and design. So I like a lot of things in here. And so my whole design concept where I'm going downstairs was inspired by some things that I saw in here. And so, um, first design. So as you see, it's really like clean lines. I'm loving the abstract art here. So you're going to begin to see more abstract art. And if you notice... I always have some type of art pieces on my wall. I love abstract art. And in my hallway, and I'll probably take you guys there, it's an art piece. It's really, really big. And my vision was to have it on each side, have it on one side of my fireplace. And then when I received it, I didn't realize it was that big. So it, there was no way that it was going to fit on those fireplaces so I end up having to put it in my landing and so it's really big it's like gold and white but I love the abstract art in from Williams Williams Sonoma and so you're gonna see begin to see a lot of things like this pop up in um, in here and also things with gold frames I'm hoping to have this collaboration I'm hoping I do and if you will see what I'm talking about but I also love can you see this right here this chandelier is absolutely beautiful I love it I love that it's black I love the glass insets here really really nice and that's really clean I like it now this right here there are pieces that I like I don't care for the table here but I love the sofa I love the art pieces I love this so, you know, I take bits and pieces out of different things that I see. And I'm like, hmm, like this one right here. I really like this. Now, what I like about this is that they're mixing, like, materials. Not necessarily metals, materials. Because you see the glass and metal um, tables. And then you also see this right here. This, I don't know if this wood or resin that is really nice. And then over here, like this buffet here, has, it's like it's wood and a dark wood or something like that. So I like those because although this is an open 
um, space. It is, um, they're using different types of hard surfaces. I love that. And they're also using black and gold. And you know, I'm loving the black. And then look at this right here. This little plant display is really pretty with the gold leaves coming out. I really like that. And actually those aren't gold leaves. Those are those What's that? It's not an elephant leaf. It's a, something else. But I like that. So, um, yes. And once again, we have the black and white art with the gold. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. Okay, so on this page here, you know, I love the pillows. And their pillows are really nice. They have a lot of... Um, design detail the structure of them are really nice and I also like how they have the black you I told you black is so popular black is a color that we don't have to worry about going ever going out of style we can always mix other colors with it we can play it up and make it very very dramatic or we can play it down and have it really subdued just simply by adding um like um, neutral colors like beiges and grays it can be very subdued and um like elegant or we can like really glam it up when we add like um, sh um shimmery fabrics or sequins it takes it to a different level so i like that now look at this right here now this buffet here is like yes please it is absolutely beautiful now what i love about it is it, it is i like that it is seems to be very long so there's a lot of surface that you can utilize on the top i also like how the doors they don't have any knobs so i'm sure it's something like a push door and an open it's almost like the front looks like it's a board and batten type material and it is very sturdy. Now, this mirror here is gorgeous. It almost looks like it's a wood. It's like a wood, like a, and it's sort of like distressed, sort of look like a tortoise shell. If you guys can see that, absolutely beautiful. So, let's see the price of this. Um, the console is a full bone, a full bone console. And it's $2,995. The mirror is a wall mirror. Oh. Oh, a wall mirror or leaner. So you can hang it on a wall or you can lean it. And it ranges from $995 to $1,995. Now, I say all of this to let you know the prices because... You can take something similar, like the buffet that I have in here that actually I picked up at a discount store for $65, and I will kind of show it to you. If I put doors on this and um, or, or make some doors, it can look similar to that. So this can be my inspiration for, for this. So for this to be almost three thousand um, dollars, yes, it is really nice. But there is there are other alternatives that one can get to have the same look. Also, I like these because you see how they decorated here on the top. A lot of times, you may need some inspiration to help you with your design and decorating. And so I really like that and I really love these palm leaves right here. Those are so freaking pretty. Now this vase here, you can find a similar vase at Hobby Lobby or um, even you can use a smaller vase that kind that you get from um, the Dollar Tree. Get us some faux palm leaves and just put some water in here and it'll look just like this. This is really pretty and I love these palm leaves also for the spring and the summer months really really nice so this is something that we can create um very easily look at this art i told you guys the black and the gold look out for the black and the gold it is going to be 
on trend and it is not going anywhere. This is something that can be very, very timeless. Black, white, and gold. So like I said, this is where I got my inspiration from. This console here is also very, very pretty. Also something else that similar to my console that I have here in my office, I can put some the same $65 console, put some glass doors on the front, and I can paint it black. I can have the same thing. This console here. It's $1,295. It's beautiful. Or you can even create this yourself. You can do this really very, very easily. So that's why I like thumbing through these magazines. I'm always inspired. Look at these chairs, guys. They are absolutely beautiful. I love the lines of them. They're very simple. They're very, very elegant. And um, yeah, this will just give you some inspiration on some things that you can do. How to style your space. Um, if you like things a little bit more simple, you like things a little bit more on my guard. Look at this right here. This black and white right here very pretty but then look at these these pillow the pillowcases with the velvet um let's see what's this you see the edges of it is velvet those are very very pretty very pretty and look at this look at that yeah so when this um, magazine catalog comes I'm like in awe of everything because everything is so nicely displayed so put together um, very easily it makes everything looks very attainable and um, effortless although sometimes the prices may not be but William Sonoma has impeccable things and in, in, some, in some ways it can kind of um, emulate some of the things that you might see in a Z gallery but not as over the top so it's kind of pulled back it's a little bit more strength more restraint to it like look at this this is another setup that I like I think it is very very pretty and a way to incorporate that beautiful blue that cobalt blue chair is like everything so yeah i just wanted to come in here and thump thumb through this with you guys get this one right here and you can go on to william sonoma's um website and you can request to be put on their mailing list and then every season you will receive a new catalog here for our this right here is beautiful for our the blue and white or the blue willow people who like things like this. These are absolutely beautiful. These ginger jars are so pretty. And they are uh, like different styles. Now, we know that these ginger jars here, especially if you get the real deal blue willow, can be very, very pricey. But if you go to places like um, Ross, of course, you can find something similar and you just cluster several of them and it look just as nice. Or even if you go to Tuesday morning, you can find something along these lines and have your display and it would just be really beautiful. Um, especially when they're displayed like this in groupings and even this one right here, I think it's that one has a gold top that is very nice very nice so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and finish thumbing through this catalog but I just wanted to bring this to you guys you know I told you guys a couple of weeks ago that I like getting these catalogs and I you know I look through them and I get inspiration I think about things that I already have in my um, arsenal, in my collection, and how I may be able to 
have something and put it together and it emulate something so it won't be spot on but I know that the grouping will go together and that's something that you guys can do um, also and I do the same thing when I am um, planning like an event I try to I look for things for inspiration and then I go from that and um, it has it has really really worked for me so guys I'm gonna go ahead and in this video come finished um, drinking my wine here and thumbing through my Williams Sonoma spring catalog so I'm gonna end this video now if you're new to Wani's house I would love for you to subscribe so go ahead hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my upcoming uploads also if you like these types of videos you like this one leave me a thumbs up I'll know by the thumbs amount of thumbs up I get if you think this is cool chill and every now and then I'll just come and we just be really chill and we'll pick a topic or something or you guys can give me a topic and that's what we'll talk about that's what we'll do I'll let you know what I'm doing it's especially days like this and it's cold outside and your girl don't want to be out there in all of that these are perfect these are perfect times for me to come in here and get me a class or something something and sit and chat with you so leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment below if you like these types of videos and um that's it guys also if you are not following me on facebook you need to yes you do because i will always give you a little bit of a heads up of what may be coming in the upcoming weeks so check me out over there you can find me at wani's house just like it is here j-u-a-n-i-s-h-o-u-s-e hit that follow button and then once you get over you see my post write something let me know that you're not following me over there i cannot wait for you to join us so guys i'm about to go but before i do you know what i always say the next time you're in town you can always stop by Wani's house i'm gonna see you in my next video gonna start over from the beginning with this catalog stretch out right here continue drinking my wine mm-hmm mm. And I think I'm going to put on Pandora. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.